Hello everybody, it is Tutorials by A here, and today I will be showing you how to create this super cool sunglass strap. So, even though fall is right around the corner, it is never too late to accessorize. So, uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this sunglass strap here. I don't know about you, but I am always losing my sunglasses, so this is an awesome way to keep track of your sunglasses. Also, if you're not big into the whole sunglass strap thing, you can also make a sleeve with this. So basically this is what it looks like and if you don't want the rubber bands on top of your ear, this is basically what it looked like when I just cut it off right there. But I actually found them quite comfortable so be sure to try this out as well after you make this. So anyways, I'd just like to give a big shout out and thank you to my mom who gave me this idea last year. <laughs> so that was a really long time ago. I actually have been kind of delaying making this because I didn't think it looked that cool but actually it came out really really awesome so yeah she told me this in like December maybe I don't even know but that was a long time ago so big shout out and thanks to her also don't forget to the, give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out and now without further ado let's get started I don't know what I'm doing with my hands okay so to make the sunglass strap or sleeve depending on what you're going to make you're only going to need three pins so you can use a monster tail you can probably use forks too you can use a lot of different things also you can switch up this whole kind of idea of the three pin thing and do a four pin five pin six pin whatever you want to do I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the three pin because I find that it works best but you can always change it up and try other variations of this if you'd like so anyways let's go ahead and get started so to start off you are going to take your first color which for me I'll be using rose jelly here and you're gonna place that going vertically here and then after that, you're going to grab this far end here, bring it across all the other ones, and then twist it as you place it onto this pin here. So that way you've got a twisty triangle here. That's just one method of twisting the triangle. You can also do a bunch of other different methods. It doesn't matter which direction they're twisted or anything as long as they all end up with a twist there. So after that, you're going to grab your second color, which for me is going to be my purple like that and we are making a tri-single bracelet or kind of pattern and then you're just going to take your hook and hook the bottom layer over on all of the pins which for me is all of my rose jelly bands so that way you are left with just this now we're going to add another layer of band, band on <laughs> just one band and then we're going to do the hooking process again make sure you're coming in from the side and pulling this up and over all the bottom layers only. So basically this is a really really easy pattern. All you do is add one around all three pins and then hook over the bottom layer on all three pins. So what you're going to do basically is you're going to repeat this for if you are making a sunglass sleeve or cover like you see here on these sunglasses right here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. But basically if you're wanting to make a sleeve here depending on which kind you want um, I made them both the same length for both of these, but on this one, just so that way it may be, it may be more comfortable for you um, if you don't have bands where they lay on your ears, then you can also scrunch it up more. So these two are the same length of bracelet, but I just scrunched this one up more so that way it was more comfortable over here. But um, it actually didn't bother me that much when it was right here. It wasn't actually uncomfortable. But it just depends for the look you're going for if you want a more tight look or if you want a more spaced out look. For both of these bracelets I made the length around my wrist so it's the same length as a bracelet for my wrist so that's a good guide to use when you're making this. Also um, it's okay if yours is a little bit more scrunched up or less or like more far apart so it's just up to you completely on that. Okay so just to make things a little bit less confusing um, I went ahead and grabbed a measuring tape and measured how long that the thing that your string of tri-single link should be and it is about 50 inches so uh, basically if you got a measuring tape or anything or a ruler then you want to make 50 inches of length of this. If you don't have a measuring tape, I will have the exact amount of links in the description box, so you can go ahead and check that if you want to go ahead and count out all the links. But I'll go ahead and show you how to do the tri-single a couple more times just in case you need a little bit of help with that. But you're just going to take your hook, pull over, 
on all of the pins. For a more detailed instruction, I have a tri-single bracelet tutorial on my channel, but basically in this video it's kind of just a guide on how to do so. More mostly just showing you the idea that my mom gave me. So um, you're just going to continue adding a single layer on of one band and then pulling over all of the bottom layers. So go ahead and continue on and do this until you've got 50 inches or the amount of links that I state down below in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so that way this video doesn't take forever and then I will be back to show you how to take this off of your loom and attach it to your sunglasses. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half or so and I am finally done with my entire chain. This took what felt like forever, but I was watching TV at the same time, so I probably got distracted partway through. But anyways, I am now finished and so once you're finished, what we're going to do is you're going to grab a band of the same color that is the last one that you put on and then we are going to transfer everything to one pin, so I'm just going to grab this bottom band here and pull this up to the top and then I'm going to grab the bottom -ist band here and pull that up to the top as well so we've got everything on this pin then taking a single band I'm just gonna lay that on this pin here reach inside all of the layers of bands here and then grab this band that's here and then pull that back over here so that way we've created a single chain link that connects to all the bands that are here after that, you can grab the bottom layer here, pull that up and over the pin, so that way you've tied a slip knot, and then give this a tug, so that way you can tighten it, and then pull this off, so that way this end is now finished. So at this time, we are now going to be needing our sunglasses here, so I'm just going to use my pink pair, even though the rainbow doesn't really match, but you know what? That's okay. So, the first end I'm going to take is the end that is not tied off. So this one, just because it's easier for your first try after that, when you're a little bit more used to scrunching this onto your sunglasses, then you can use the harder side. But um, you can just take one end of your sunglasses, it honestly does not matter. I'm just going to do the right side. And you want to, depending on what kind of sunglasses you have, some of them have thicker ends and some have thinner ends. The thinner ends are easier to slide this on, especially if it's not a weird shape like this. If you've got a thicker one like mine, don't worry, it's still possible to put this on. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to find the inside of this. Now what we've created here is this, is this tube and you want to stick the end of the sunglasses inside of the tube. So let me focus my camera here. And so we're going to go inside and try to scrunch this through. So basically you just got to keep wiggling it through and you might get something weird like this. That's okay. You've just got to try real hard to get it inside and through the tube. So it's kind of hard to explain. Hopefully you can see me trying to wiggle my way through here. And I am using jelly bands, so these are a little bit more slippery, maybe more difficult. I don't know if this is to my advantage or not. But yeah, you're just going to keep squeezing your way through, and it's a little bit difficult at first because just starting it is hard. But you just got to make sure that everything is, um, all the bands are getting to where they need to be. So here I've got the first part and you've just got to make sure that on both sides of your strap, oh gosh I'm still not focused, um, you've just got to make sure that both sides on, of your strap you've got a band here and a band here on both sides of the same color. So as long as you make sure you got that then you're good. And I like to keep it so that way I have a chain link running down the side right here in the center. So that way on the opposite side where it's touching my head, I'm not going to have 
a stripe that goes straight down the center so it might be uncomfortable if I just have one going down so um, yeah but you can do different patterns and stuff with your lines and you can also twist it ac along your sunglass um, strap or whatever um, but yeah so as you keep on going it's gonna get easier just gonna keep wiggling it through like so my camera will actually stay focused this is really frustrating <laughs> so you just gotta keep wiggling it through the tube here so I kinda just like to keep going back and forth and make sure that both lines of the strap on either side make sure that both lines are there it's a little bit hard to explain that but hopefully I'm getting my message across and then every now and then you just want to stretch it out real far so that way you get enough room to put your new bands on and it does make it easier by scooting them down so you just got to keep wiggling it through just gonna keep going and this does need a lot of patience so just keep wiggling and for the start it doesn't really matter how the bands surround the beginning I don't think I really specified on that but it doesn't really matter as long as your sunglasses are on here because I don't think anybody's gonna look real closely at your sunglasses and be like oh you didn't put it right in the middle that's totally fine so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera for this or maybe fast forward a little bit because this is gonna take forever but basically it doesn't matter how many stitches you put onto your sunglasses it just kind of depends on how long you want your strap to remain and also how scrunched up or spread out you want all these lines here to be but yeah so you're just gonna keep on going until you get your desired length you don't have to put it all the way up to the uh, front right here but this is just for security reasons if you want to put it all the way up here you can also just have it stop here but that could be a little bit dangerous um, you can go to the middle you can do whatever you'd like I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up here so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and go all the way back up here and then I'll come right back to show you how to start the other side so it's been like two minutes and I've finished putting my strap on. Later on, if you find that the neck strap is too long, you can always scrunch on more stitches. Or if you find that the neck strap is too short, you can pull off more stitches and space accordingly. But anyways, once you've finished one side, here we're going to go ahead and do the other side. So this side is going to be a little bit more difficult to do, but don't worry, it'll still be possible. And what we're going to do to start this side, you're going to completely ignore this loop right here. And you're just going to kind of almost like see where the first link is and you're going to go in through the side for that just because to go in through the top is going to be a little bit difficult so stick my sunglasses here in one loop here of the first link put that on one link of the red and then one link of the orange as well one link of the orange so I've got this here hold on tight to that and then you're going to go inside of the orange here just like that and kind of just squeeze your way through it does not have to be perfect at all just find some way to shove your sunglasses up the um, up the string of tri-single links that we've got here so it doesn't have to be perfect just find some way to somehow get your sunglasses through because obviously we all probably can't find the same exact links because they're all jumbled up and stuff but as you can see my beginning of mine is not perfect but that's okay ignore the loop for now we're gonna go ahead and tuck that in later on but um, once you get to this point you're gonna go ahead and continue the scrunching process and continue adding on your links so I find that it actually is hard on camera to do this when I'm I've got these sunglasses in my lap it is a whole lot easier to do this so may struggle a little bit on camera it's not as hard as it looks that's okay so just continue going and sliding on your links this actually is kind of fun but be sure to keep stretching it downwards and spacing it accordingly again I've got the whole stitch here running down the middle just to give it kind of kind of an accent but again you're just gonna keep going down and then I will go ahead and go off camera for this so that way I can easily and quickly finish this off and then I'll be right back 
Okay, so I am back and I have now finished both of my sides here. So basically when you're finished, you just want to go ahead and kind of straighten out everything. And I actually thought that my strap was a little bit on the short, shorter side, so I went ahead and pulled this outwards a little bit so I could elongate the strap, which is really cool about this um, design is that you can definitely adjust everything quite easily. So uh, yeah, that's basically how you make the strap, so or add the strap on. So to hide this, basically what you can do, I'm just going to go over here in with my hook through the side here. Okay, I actually had a little bit of trouble sliding my hook in here, but I got it in. Then I'm just going to grab this link here and then use my hook to grab that link. And then pull it through so that way it's tucked in. Just like that. And then after that I'm just going to scrunch this back outwards. And it's hidden and when you're wearing your sunglasses you can't tell it's there. And I can hardly even tell it's there right now actually. So uh, yeah. After that, just make sure all of the links are where you want them to be in the center. And after that, we are now completely finished with our super cool sunglass strap. So anyways, that is how you make this super cool sunglass strap or sleeve, depending on which one you decide to do. I really hope that this video helped you out. Big thanks to my mom for bugging me about this idea for forever. And yeah, so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and find me on all my social media sites which are all also down in the description box below. Once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!